Hey everyone, Katherine King here and I have a do a different kind of haul today. So I decided I'm going to start branching back into some candles. Um, excuse the noise, there's butter, here's Micah. Um, so I decided I was going to place just a small Kringle candle haul. There were a few scents that I thought sounded really good. I have ordered from Kringle before, and the last time I did, I did a lot of those daylight ones, and I melted those at work. It was back when I worked at a lumber yard. Um, and then they had a cereal blend. Uh, it's like they had like four or something specific cereal blends, and I did the Fruity Pebbles one, and seriously, I would I would be burning it at work, um, cause we, I worked in shipping and so we were, we actually, you know, manufactured the, the boards, not, you know, so we, we made the boards. Um, anyway, people would come into the shipping room or shipping office and they're like, what did you make? And it's like, oh no, actually that's a cereal candle. And then, um, their sugar cookie. I had a sugar cookie one and it was in the three wood kind of style. Um, but, but taller than, than these. And people would also come in. Did you make cookies? And it's like, no, that's candle. And so I have, I have loved Kringle candles, but I kind of got away from burning candles or warming candles. I had an obscene collection of Bath and Body Works, I've gotten through those. These are the ones that I picked up um, over the winter. Um, but I thought, you know what? Sometimes I do like to have, you know, a candle going. And I thought, all right, I'm, I'm just gonna pick some. They had a sale going on. So I decided to place an order. I have actually signed up to become a um, Kringle ambassador. There are some steps you have to do and stuff to become a Kringle ambassador. So I did do that. Um, if you don't mind using affiliate codes, there are many of us out there, Mr. Um, or Philly, Philly Candleman or whatever, um, Mr. Kong's mom, you know, there are people with affiliate codes. I have one now. It is Catherine King 2020. It gets you 15% off and I do make a commission of 10%. So it's not like, you know, I'm making money off it, but it would give you give you a discount. So there are many uh, affiliate codes out there, but that's mine. I will put it down below up to you whether or not you want to use it. Um, so let's get started with what I ordered. I ordered seven candles and then I wanted to try their wax melts because as you know, most of the stuff I do is wax melts. So I wanted to give it a go. They do not put scent notes on their stuff. So I did print out um, the scent notes of, of everything that I did order. We'll do the wax melts first, then I'll show you what candles I got. So the first one is apple cider donut. I love a good apple cider donut scent. So the lids do come fully off, just so you know. Um, on the inside, it does give instructions. So apple cider donut. These aren't in any order on my on my sheet here. Apple cider donut. Um, our apple cider donut is infused with spice, sweet cider notes, and a lavish dusting of sweet cinnamon. Best of all, this guilty pleasure is 100% calorie free. I think that's kind of funny. So anyway, top notes. And the nice thing about Kringle is they do list out the top, mid, and base notes. So you kind of know the experience you're gonna get. Top note, apple, apple cider, and cinnamon. Um, mid note says gourmand, um, maple, and spice. And then the base notes is sugar crystals. And this does smell very, very good. There are certain scents, no matter where I order from, I like to try, and typically I like to try an apple cider. I like to try a key lime. I like to try if they have a lemon pound cake. There are certain things that I like to try. And this is a really good apple cider donut. It does not seem overly strong in the wax melt, so we shall see what I get upon 
melting. Uh, I'll do that one last. Okay, blackberry buttercream. I think I'm going to go ahead and order this one in um, a candle because it smells so good. There is a spice to it, though. Um, blackberry buttercream. It's all about the buttercream. We've whipped up an ultra fluffy buttercream frosted with sweet milk, maple, cinnamon spice, and blackberry essence with a roasted nutty flare. I don't know that I smell a nutty flare. I smell the cinnamon. Maybe. Nope, no, I, I now that I see what it is. Um, okay, so top notes. Butter and nutty. Mid notes, spicy, cinnamon, chestnuts. Um, roast, well, it says chestnuts roasted, so roasted chestnuts, that's what I'm smelling. I do smell the roasted chestnuts. Base is um, sweet, it's milk, maple, and cream. So, depending upon how this one goes, I may also end up ordering this one in a candle. Um, I picked up a rosemary lemon. So I wasn't sure. I love rosemary mints. I love rosemary. Um, if I, there's two plants, if I walk by them, it's a lavender plant. I'll rub my hand on and a rosemary plant. And you can just smell that freshness on your fingers. I love it. I love fresh rosemary. So this one, it does smell really good. Lavish Lemon finds its fragrant soulmate when matched with savory rosemary. So, top notes. Herbs, jasmine, and lemon. I might get a hint of the jasmine. Sorry, I, I have my curtains open. I have, my father-in-law just makes just basic, very basic birdhouses. Slap some wood together, it's a birdhouse. And our swallows um, are starting to pick their birdhouse. And so one was flying in and out of this one right here. I think they're swallows. Anyway, mid notes, lime, definite. And it says orchid. But see, I don't smell any floral in it, so we'll see. Base notes are peach, tea, wood, and ylang ylang. Yeah, I don't, I think it smells delicious. I love a good rosemary blend, so. And then this one I got, so one of uh, my husband's favorite oils when I'm rubbing his back is a citrus sage. And so I thought, well, I want to try this one. It's crisp apple and sage. And it is a bit green um, for sure. Yeah, it's crisp apple and sage. Granny Smith apple notes with a touch of citrus and lime. The sage character is enhanced by a jasmine accord. And it's top notes of apple and sage. See, in the bottom smells a bit different. Mid notes of jasmine and lime. Base notes of uh, sandalwood and sugar. So, I don't know. It smells really good. We'll see. I'm not sold on that one, though. So we'll see about that. Hang on. Alrighty. So onto the candles. They um, have started creating, um, these are the, you know, the same size as the Bath and Body Works three wicks. Um, so I wanted to pick some of these up. They were, as I said, they were on sale. So this first one is uh, and this is Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie's, uh, one of her favorite. It's Sicilian orange. The only thing is the label is crooked and it does have, you know, it's not firmly sealed on there. Um, and, but it is unusual that their labels would be crooked because they are very meticulous, but this label is, is definitely, it's definitely crooked. So Sicilian orange. And I am going to try burning these. I know most of my candles I stick in a crock, but um, I think if I put them in the kitchen, like on my stove, it might be better. I have a flat top stove. So if I put it on there, I don't have to worry about Micah's nose. Obviously she doesn't have a tail, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, or when she gets her zoomies, cause even at three, she still gets her zoomies. I don't, you know, I don't have to worry about her hitting it or whatever. So 
Sicilian orange, a luscious citrus bouquet of Sicilian oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and tangerines, flavorfully boosted with herbs and lavender, woody pines, add, oh, add an earthly intrigue to Sicilian orange. Let's see, top note, Sicilian, or Italian citrus accord and Sicilian orange, Sicilian orange peel. Okay, wild, mid notes, wild herb and lavender. Hmm. Base notes, white cedar and western pine. So I can smell something other than just orange in this scent. It is a, a definite multifaceted um, candle. I don't know, the wicks are, see how they're not even? See how they're more up that direction? I wonder if it's going to have difficulty pooling right here. So we'll see about that. It, sm it smells really good. We'll see if it's a headache inducer for me, having those woods and, and other herbs in there. He must be building his nest out there because he keeps going in. Anyway, it smells really good. So we'll see how my head tolerates that one. Um, but I am excited to uh, try that one out. Next one is Over the Rainbow. And I do really enjoy the labels. They are very lovely. Um, so Over the Rainbow. Oh, yes. Okay, this... Okay, it kind of takes me back to late 90s, maybe early 2000s. Oh, yes. Wow, and look how close those ones are. So, it the the wicks are, are interesting, and like this one, see how close they are? I mean, I don't know, we'll see. And these wicks, they're different. See, I don't know if you can see, they're like, they look like little candy canes. Yeah, okay. I need to just quit playing with the wicks. All right. Sun sweet watermelon together with notes of ripe cantaloupe and watery honeydew sprinkled with sea salt crystals accented by ozone inf uh, infused island greens. This reminds me of you know the cucumber scents that were so so popular, you know, or honeydew I was really, really into Party Light. I think it was late, the late 90s. I think I was really in, no, no, it would have been early 2000s, sorry. I was really in, into Party Light. This reminds me of one of their Party Light scents. Um, it's melon sea salt ozone with cantaloupe, honeydew, and marine, and melon sweet and green. And yeah, it, that's exactly, it is a melon heavy, cause it has all three melons in it. Melon heavy, um, fresh, clean kind of scent. So I know there's some fresh scents that will absolutely give me a headache. Um, but this, this is sweet and fresh. I could absolutely see this, um, this cleansing and cleaning the air. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm not sure that that would be a headache inducer for me. So I'm very excited about that one. All right. Next one, iced citrus. I love citrus. See, and then these ones are kind of towards the top and it actually it's it's weird the wax is dirty interesting okay I keep poking my nose with the wicks oh this one smells so good okay ice citrus is oh that's interesting so I didn't much read on the scent notes so it's kind of like a surprise lemon definitely peppermint I don't smell peppermint um, and frosted pine needles shine through this scent and mingled with grapefruit and verbena root sprinkled with sugar cookie or sugar cane. Sorry. Mm -mm. Lingering is sweet, herbaceous, mint leaves and vanilla. Crazy. 
I don't smell any of that. I smell this beautiful citrus scent. Okay, so top notes, cool. I like how it it gives that. It's green or it's cool or it's um, spicy. It's giving you a feeling, not necessarily a scent. It's saying, okay, this is a cool scent. It's giving you that feeling of cool. Um, peppermint, lemon, and frosted fur. Oh, I don't smell any of that. Interesting. Okay. Grapefruit, verbena root, sugar cane. And then vanilla crushed mint leaves. Crazy. I don't smell any of that. I just smell this awesome citrus scent. I, I, this one, this one might uh, surprise me in what comes out on warm. So very excited about that one. I'm trying to stack these out of the way here. All right, so you know I'm not really a chocolate in wax kind of person, but I wanted to try lava cake. Lava cake is a rich blend of, move the wicks. Oh, okay. Rich blend of dark chocolate, brown sugar, and vanilla with a smoky kick. You can smell that smoky kick. It's bizarre. Okay. Top. Melted butter, crushed coffee beans. And raw coconut. Mid is dark cocoa powder, tonka bean, and smoke. And then base is vanilla extract, brown sugar, and patchouli. I don't think I smell patchouli, but... It is definitely a chocolate with maybe a backside hint of that coffee. Oh, that one's going to be fun. We shall see. And it also says raw coconut, and I love coconut. So these next two probably won't surprise you much. Morning cartoons. I love my cereal blends. I love it in any kind of wax. Um... And I haven't smelled these. I've had these for a few days, but I didn't smell them. I wanted to do kind of a first sniff with you guys. So um, I haven't smelled them. Um, let's see. Where is this one? Morning cartoons. Inspired by our inner child. Morning cartoons will transform you back to early mornings. Slurping up fruity milk left at the bottom of your cereal bowl. And I definitely was one of those. I like any kind of sugary cereal. Yes, I like frosted mini wheats and the adult cereal. Um, just makes me laugh. Anyway, um, but I do love my sugary cereals. Absolutely. Um, all right. So top notes, brown sugar, toasted waffles and cinnamon. Okay. Mid notes, pumpkin spice, maple syrup, creamy butter, and base is warm woods accord, amber Oh, an amber vanilla accord. So this is not, this candle, um, when I'm smelling it, I'm not thinking, honestly, of Fruit Loops. To me, it doesn't smell like what we normally would get in, in a wax, like a, a vendor wax that has, you know, Fruit Loops. This is different. I think because it has all those other things in it, um... This is not a, a cereally fruit loop kind of blend. So I find it interesting because I'm looking at the base notes. Using this label, you would think you're getting a fruit loop blend. You're not. You're getting more of a cinnamon toast crunch blend. So this one is more cinnamon toast crunch, not fruit loops, just so you know. So interesting that they used that label because um, it's it's not a fruity blend at all. So kind of interesting. All right, next one, I got fruit and flakes. And again, the label is not stuck on very well. Um, anyway, let's see about this one. Oh, this one has, it has, I don't know if you can see it. The wicks have green in them. All right, so fruit and flakes. Berries, bananas, cinnamon, oh my. 
breakfast is served with this sweet and savory fragrance. You can almost taste it. All right, top notes, banana, strawberry, red berries. Nope. Mid notes, baked pastry, oats, and cinnamon. Yes. Base notes of clove, vanilla, and cooked sugar. Yes, this is a cinnamon cereal blend. This is, there's no fruit, no berries. So um, interesting that I'm not getting those scents on cold, but it, I mean, it smells really good, but this is a cinnamon, this is a cinnamon bakery scent. So that one will also be interesting. Um, because in both those cereal ones, I thought I was going to be getting more fruity and I didn't get that. So last one I got was Donut Worry. I love a good donut blend. Oh, that smells, it has those green and white wicks. That smells really good. It says, Donut Worry, you know you shouldn't, but you can. Enjoy the fresh baked buttery deliciousness. This guilt-free scent is a blend of fruits, cinnamon, nutmeg, topped with creamy vanilla icing and sweet sprinkles. Um, Don't worry, treat yourself. All right, top notes, slightly fruity and buttery. Slightly, but I can definitely smell that butter note in this one. Base, nutmeg, cinnamon, or sorry, mid or, mid or nutmegs and cinnamon. Base is baked donut, sweet sprinkles, creamy vanilla icing. Yes. Okay, this one does smell like a buttery donut scent. Very, very good. A little light on cold sniff, but, um, you know, I've, I've always been a huge proponent. Melt your wax. Cold sniffs are cold sniffs. These aren't warm reviews. It's always great to watch warm reviews. So I will be giving warm reviews of these candles as I, um, as I warm them. On cold sniff, I'm a little disappointed because I love my sugar, excuse me, sugary cereals. Little disappointed in Fruit and Flakes and Morning Cartoons. So I think the first one I'm actually going to warm is going to be Morning Cartoons. I want to see if that fruity note comes out. So very different. So I think I'm going to warm my Morning Cartoons first. Um, I'm going to try and do my warm reviews of this on my Instagram um, so my Instagram is Catherine, uh, dot King. Yeah. Catherine dot King 2020. So check it out over there. What my warm reviews and plus I'll, I'll give my reviews of these when I do my empties, they probably won't be empty, but I will give you my ideas of, of what these scents are. Um, at first, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think, I think looking at them, my favorite is going to be Over the Rainbow. All those juicy, sweet melons. Very excited about that. The ice citrus, the fact that it says it has mint and things in it. I'm intrigued by that one because I'm not smelling it. So I can't wait to, to smell that one on warm. Um, so this is what I have. We shall see what, what I get. There are some other ones that I am actually debating on getting. Um, I do want to try them on a more. I, um, I didn't get that one this time because it is floral. Um, but watching reviews on it, it, I am now intrigued by that scent. Uh, I want to give it a try. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Remember, there are many, many, many of us who have the affiliate codes. Um, it will save you 15%. I do get um, a commission of 10%. So I'm completely honest about this. I did order these with my own money. Um, none were sent to me. So know that I will always be open and honest that when something is sent to me for review. So anyway, that's what I have for you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.